What's going on YouTube? CB13 here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually go ahead and get the accelerator perk as fast as possible. Obviously we all know accelerator is the king perk. It's the perk we all want. Accelerator is the goal every time you try to get a perk on your my player. And today I'm going to show you guys the quickest way of doing that. Now this year you have to unlock all other takeovers to get accelerator like you had to last year I believe. And now, when you think about the fastest way to get this, obviously you have to do what they tell you in these quests, but that's, there's easy ways to kind of cheat that and, you know, get around it a little bit. So, obviously you're going to have to go ahead and do this one where you go talk to Red Thompson, you go talk to Chris Brickley and play in his scrimmages, etc. Second chance with Brickley, and same thing here with Chris Matthews, you got to go do his art of shooting uh, drill, right? Those ones you have to go do no matter what. But here's where we find a little bit of a loophole. You can go ahead and talk to these NBA stars. And what they're going to tell you is to do a stats goal. The stats goal is going to be something along the lines of, you know, with, with Cade Cunningham, it's going to be something that he's going for, which is probably like scoring and passing. For Giddy, it's about efficiency, which is six field goals and 80% field goal or better. Um, under any affiliation and, and at any streetball court. And then for SGA, it's going to be something along the lines of like 20 steals, maybe a couple blocks and things like that. And so when you're going ahead and looking at how to do these in the fastest manner, I'm going to show you guys really quickly um, something that, to be honest with you, should really not take you very long at all. It should easily, should be one of the easier things you do on this game for those three um, challenges to get Accelerator as fast as possible because that's what we want. We want Accelerator as fast as possible. That's the goal every time. So what you're going to do, for example, we're going to go talk to Josh Giddy here, right? We're going to run, we're going to ride over, over on our uh, little electric thing. Go over here, talk to Josh Giddy. Once we talk to Josh Giddy, here we go. Once we talk to Josh Giddy, he's gonna tell us. Um, here's the first time he's gonna tell us this. I think it changes for everybody, so it might not be these exact goals for you guys. But six field goal attempts, eighty field goal percentage or better. All right. What we're gonna do once we're done talking to Josh Giddy, we're gonna take our skateboard over to. You're gonna see. Sunset Park, you see it on the top of your screen here. Sunset Park, you're going to go over to Sunset Park on that skateboard or whatever you want to call it. Here's how you get over to Sunset Park. You got to go in this little crevice here, go around. I'm not the best skateboarder here. I'm going to hit the trash can too. I got to get my uh, skateboard game up. Stop at this right here, open courts. You're going to click on this guy, Disco, who is a very short player in particular. Add your two teammates to your team. You got to go through this whole thing. And now here we go. As I said, very short. Not very hard to... Uh... Is this not... Yeah, here's the one. Very short. Not very hard to score on. You're going to see this quick little gameplay. We get right, behind, right past them. Easy layup. Again, this is going to end up having to be six field goals... Attempted at 80% or higher field goal percentage. Here again, he's so short, he's not going to contest any jump shot I take. Wide open, no chance. Um, also, for you guys that are going to ask about my jump shot and my signature... Dribble styles and things like that. That video is uploaded at this time, probably like three hours before this video that I'm about to throw up for the accelerator. So all that is on my Twi on my YouTube. I am streaming on Twitch every single night, um, especially this weekend. Definitely every single night. I think we're about to get into some ranked pro in a little bit. Again, he's not bad at finishing, but who really? It doesn't really matter. And we'll come over here. And let's see. He misses a three. We get the ball. 
Of course, he can't contest my shot. Like I said, they are very short. I am my my player is only six two, and it's the tallest on the court. So it's definitely not the hardest to do. Easy to blow by, like I said. Short people on the court, very short. And and another great thing about this too is your progression in these goes across different my players. So I'll show you guys proof of that right after this gameplay is over. Obviously, they have no chance. My players are 92 overall. Like they started doubling once I was killing them that bad. Like no, literally had no chance. Even with two guys still, we'll dump it down. Cool. We hit our threshold for the game already. We're at 18 points. And here's the game. Layup. Boom. Done. Perfect. And now you see it say 1 out of 10 on my screen. Right on this top left when it loads. Where is it at? Quests. Let me click on the giddy quest. And there it is on the top left of my screen. One out of ten games complete, and it literally doesn't is not hard whatsoever. And now let me show you guys that progression. You see that one out of ten? Let me jump over to one of my other builds really quick for you guys to see. 86 overall. And here you go. We're going to step out of here. Affiliations. We did that already. Two times rep. And I have rebirth. Nice. Great. It's not what we're here for. We're here for the quests and our side quest, which is going to show us Josh Giddy. You see the same thing I see. One out of ten. So here's where that comes in. If they tell you Get 10 blocks, and you're a point guard. How are we going to get 10 blocks? Although you might be able to on the small guy. Go ahead, make that 60 overall power forward. Make that 60 overall center. Go back to Sunset Park. Play against those short people. Let them think they have a layup. Block it. You need steals. Make a lock quick. Upgrade the steal. You don't need to upgrade anything else. Upgrade the steal quick. 15, 20K. Give it like a 75 steal. Boom. Go pluck them. Go take the ball out of their hands. This can have you finish these four parts of this quest, I'd say, in under an hour if you were really sitting there, like, locked in trying to do it. So, I definitely don't. Here, we'll go talk to SGA while I'm right here, too. I think he's close. Is he? Not really, no. But, you guys get the point. You run over there. You get that done. And you should have Accelerator before the general masses. And if you play anybody when you have Accelerator and they don't, they damn near have no chance of beating you. So, again, I appreciate all the love and support I've seen on these YouTube videos so far in 24. I want to keep giving you guys little things to help. Um, any advantage you guys can get over opponents is definitely something I want to see from you guys. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys probably later tonight or early tomorrow with another video.